Good morning, welcome back to the channel. We are rushing, as per usual, we're late for something. We're late for a water boat of all things. A water boat? A water boat. A water boat man, one of them little beetle things. No, right? a water boat, a boat that you get on to go on water mark because mm. we are in Venice. On yes, sea. we made it. On sea, aren't we? It is on, everything's on sea here. Yeah, it's wet, isn't it? Like underwater. We found a lovely, it's, it's not a campsite, is it? Is it's, it? A, it's an air, isn't it? You can see an air, I'll just show you. It's a bit muddy. It is a bit muddy. £18 a night, 22 with electric, um, everything else is free, the showers, mm. pay for your washing machines. I wish I knew the uh -huh. other day because we spent a fortune on washing. Well, washing the dry is six euros, isn't it? How much did we spend? About 25. So. Yeah, ridiculous. There's so much variation of things, you've got to be dead careful, aren't you? So, so yesterday, we, we got here yesterday, we nipped out really quickly on the scooters because we had it in a Z that we could go to Venice on our scooters. Yeah. Every road was blocked, weren't it? You just cannot get. You can't get on the scooter. No, you, you, if you've got the range and you're battering your scooter, you could do eventually, but the, the proper cycle route has been shut. The other way which we tried to go was like a dual carriageway or motorway, innit, with barriers yeah. and stuff, so. We gave up in the end. Yeah. Just get, getting silly, weren't it? Yeah. Right, where's this water boat? We've made it to the outside of Venice. Yeah, where we're camping, it's like on a little point, isn't it, if you will, so. This is the mainland. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see behind us, but we can see the outline of the Venice island. On Can't sea. wait. It's on sea, isn't it? So here is called Merive. Yeah. Now, if you stop on the site we are at, um, I think you might be getting a bit cheaper because I don't it's, know. it's not a bad price. It seems to say, as long as you're camping, it's £10 return Ten per euros. person. Ten euros, sorry. 10 euros i thought it was 10 each way i thought it was gonna be about 40 euros weren't it and the last sailing backs off half oh, past six i think in the summer you might get one back at about 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. so this is absolutely fantastic look at this they're taking all the stuff over to venny everything's done on board here imagine yeah? if you lose a parcel look we all address look that's probably amazon <laughs> It's brilliant. Oh, I'm so excited today. Chico's a bit scared, isn't he? This Always is like water. a bucket list place, isn't it, really, Venice? It's oh, not yeah, somewhere you, you get to come all the time. We have to come, didn't we? So it's not cost us that much, has it? It's cost us 18 euros for the campsite yep. per night. Uh, and then 20, 20 euros. Through, and then Not bad, that. We, whatever we spend over there. We've not had no breakfast as normal. But. I know, which is not a good thing because we have been told how much things are over there. Coffee's 11 euros. Mm. A piece of cake, 15 euros. Mm. There'll be no pound shops, Mark. Uh, it's supposed to be like you need a new kettle don't you so i do need a new kettle but yeah. i tell you what there is thrift shops i watched a lady the other night but they're very secretive with it very and they only open at certain times of the day so i don't think i'm going to hit any of them because mm -hmm. she took like a guarded tour around italy where this woman knew where all the thrift shops were but she got some bloody bargains so yeah. anyway we'll just as a, as a note if you stop on this this air or campsite we're at it's practically impossible to cycle to Venice. That's a road you need to go on next to the train line over there. And it's not far, but you've got to do about six, seven kilometers round to get onto that. Yeah. And the problem is you can't, you can't, uh, you, you can't sit shut off, isn't it? Now, yeah, so. it, the, the chaps just said, no, you cannot do it anymore. It will show you a cycle route, forget it. You Don't even it's bother. It's all closed off, so. I mean, this is a lot easier anyway, getting yeah, on a boat. So. We set off last night to have a quick squiz, didn't we, when we got here, but it's uh, impossible. And by the way, buses, 45 minutes on a bus mm. and they're rammed they're absolutely rammed so yeah. no i can't wait boat let's ride. we'll show you the boat when it gets here chico's never been on a boat before he hasn't we think this is our boat here don't we Taxi! <laughs> skidding around, look. He's not skidding around, he's turning around. Here he comes. Good job we don't have any food, you might get seasick, Lisa, eh? Mm, I know. I can't believe the amount of trains are going over all the time, constantly. It's like a bullet train, that one, Lisa, look. Yeah, it does. Right, we'll let these people get off for this boat and then... Uh, Taxi for Venice, please. Oh, I just found the end. It's about to see anything, isn't it? I've just found the end, yeah. <laughs> Chico, we're going to Venice. So we set sail. We're off. It's quite smooth, actually, isn't it? Yeah, smooth, and I thought it would have been. I can't believe how many FedEx parcel boats and everything are going past. We've seen about 20, haven't we, while we've been waiting? Yeah, there's a lot. 
a lot. I was wondering how long, how long it takes to get your mail and your deliveries here. It's the same, one. it? It'll be next day. It's probably cheaper for them to send boats up than send them right round on the roads and the tolls and stuff, isn't it? So. Chico's happy. It's calmed down now, we're moving. It's a nice sailing. So we're nearly here at Venice on Sea. Yeah, nearly. Uh, they don't drop you off right at the front bit where everyone gets in the tea. It's the side where all the um, attractions are, shall we say, St Mark's Square and uh, Rialto Bridge. So we made it. Whew, it got a bit rocky as we got a bit closer, didn't we? Yeah, didn't it? There's a lot of boats everywhere as well, isn't there? There's lots coming in now. Look at all these people here. Boats arriving everywhere. It's like the main mode of the transport, isn't it? That's now, the, the one thing. thing I've been told about Venice is it stinks. I can't smell it yet, so I'll let you know if it actually does. Uh, oh, God, I'm well excited. We're actually on Venice soil, the actual place. Well, yeah. Soil, what you can call it that. I've seen some steps I want to investigate there as well. Castle oh, yeah, really. these have got Mark's name all over and Watch this. Yeah. Well, you, you've just made everyone wince at home, Mark. The thought of you being even near them steps. Look at it! It's like a free for all! That little thing. That little one jumping all over the place. It's like a little speedboat, isn't it, that one? Now, bikes and electric scooters are not allowed on the island. You can bring them across, but as we said before, it's from where we are. Forget Might it, as well yeah. get a boat. Uh, they've stopped bikes because there's that many pedestrians everywhere and there's that many canals anywhere. You can't really ride a bike around. And with the bridges, you've got to go over. They didn't want people with bikes taking them over the bridges and damaging them, so. Remember that if you come in future. Right, we found food and drink at last and a proper coffee, proper cup. We're in a place called Farini, aren't we? Farini. Now I found this on Google and it's only 4.30 for a slice. That is a slice of pizza, believe it or not. It's like a full pizza, isn't it? It's a pizza, isn't it? I've got uh, pineapple and ham and pineapple. You've got salami, haven't you? Yeah. How much do you all together, Mark? 14 euros and 50 shillings. Now I think that's good that. Eating as well and the let cheek one as well. Look, woohoo! So we'll do some testing and we'll let you know how it is. Bloody Mark. <laughs> Mark getting right into it. Nice. Is it nice? Let's try it. Oh yeah, proper Italian pizza at last. All the pizzas we've had, we've always had. Never a proper one, is it? I mean, ready? Don't we just put them in the oven? Don't we just yeah. I can see someone wanting another slice of this. It's a pizza station, isn't it? Look. You're dying to get behind there and make a pizza, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, a couple of Castelli ovens. A good ovens, that. How do you know? Castelli. Right, let's go. All the different ones that they do on here, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. That's the one that I had there. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, that looks just like a cheese plain one, doesn't it? Margarita. And Mark just said, we'll come back in an hour for his dinner. Oh, we're going to ask you how much a full one wants to take back to that. Well, it's in four, isn't it? So eight, six, isn't it? It's six, 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 so... Yeah. A big pizza and yeah. it's well nice. That isn't it? one slice, I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> Lovely. I had to finish it for you, didn't I? Right, we're heading to a certain bridge. Come and have a look and see what I mean. Just around the corner from the pizza shop, you've got shops that sell doggy masks. Oh, for God's sake, Mark. 
Oh. They're the Italian doggy masks, masks. They're not doggy masks. They are on, stop the, shouting they are on that. the films that I've seen. These are beautiful. Look at these. But they cost an arm and a leg. Mm. Gorgeous. Yeah, if you think about Italy, you think about these masks. You see, you see them on, what was that, a film? Uh, Casino. You don't want to say. No, <laughs> no, no, not one of yours. Casino Royale, James Bond, was filmed here. And mm. they actually wore these masks, didn't they? They're very similar. Well, just a bit like um, Sean Connery today, aren't they? Sean Connery? You're going back some years. Uh, Roger Moore. No! <laughs> Who What's is it called? Daniel Craig. It's Daniel Craig. Oh, muscles and everything like Look. Yeah. Like a secret agent, no? I, 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 can, I, I can't say anything but Daniel Craig when I look at him. Look at this. A Rialto chocolate bridge. Look at the chocolate pouring in there, Mark. It's a bit weird at end. Whoa. Looks like something straight out of Willy Wonka, that Mark. Is it real chocolate? I don't know. I think it's more for display. Looks a bit curdled, doesn't it? Oh, another one. Another one. Gold. Finger. Oh dear me. Why do I encourage him? Look at this for pasta, giving you all your different curry flavour pasta mark. Well, we're in the home of pasta. If they don't know about pasta, no one else will, will they? Oil sprays here. We still haven't got garlic. We can't find it. Can't find. That's on the end. Garlic. Is it? At the end, yeah. No, no. Really cute. can't find garlic oil anywhere. I thought they'd have had it in Italy. I don't know why. But... Well, garlic bread. Yeah, it's getting really busy down here. It's a Kalali Ways now. Right, so we've made it to the Rialto Bridge. It's one of the oldest of four stone bridges that go over the Grand Canal. It's been in so many programmes and films, it's unbelievable. 1173 it was built. No wonder it's such a focal for everyone to come and stand on. And apparently, it's the best place to see the sunset in Venice. Is it the highest bit, apart from rooftops, I suppose? Well, no, it's, uh, I don't want to say it's the highest bit, but come on, we'll go and have a look. So I've made it to the top, Mark's still taking some pictures somewhere. This is the Grand Canal that runs all the way through Venice. Been on so many films again. Here he is, made it. It's a long way up, isn't it? It's here? a long way up. It's, full it's of a good boats. view, isn't it? Absolutely loads of boats here. This is one of the main, apart, apart from St. Mark's Square. Uh, this is the other place that everyone heads for, so we've got here early before it gets really, really busy. It is still busy, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but it's beautiful. So we've made it to the other side and it's even busier. It's a massive isn't it? bridge, isn't it? There's shops on there and all sorts, and you want to buy jewellery. As that. you can see down there, is that, that's where all the restaurants are as well. So if you want an expensive meal, go and pick there, but we won't be going there. One weather one, it's absolutely even on here, and it's not. we're only in spring, aren't we? We're it's only awesome. in March, so if you're going to come in somewhere, prepare to queue and prepare to be pushed around a bit. This is a dream come true, isn't it? Right, so I'm sure these uh, steps should be all right for him. I've told him to be careful. He's walking like he's had an accident though. How embarrassing. That's your mate there, isn't it? I just thought I'd say that. Simmy's just barge, isn't he? Yeah. This, there's, a, <laughs> there's a fellow following us around. some B-roll and he were like tutting, weren't he? He were tutting in his face and everything. It's really rude and he's just barged into Mark again. Let's get away. Some people, they need to get a laugh, don't they? Mm. Just look at these, Mark. Look at these. Glass look at glass figurines. Oh, is there any Chico's? Oh, they've got bees, Mark. They've got a cigarette. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't mm. it? <gasps> Even smaller ones. Yeah. Now, someone said to me, you can get round Venice in one day. I don't think so. If you want to have a proper look here, Loads, I'd, I'd do it like a, at least two or three days. Obviously, it's a tourist trap yeah. and everything, isn't it? But it's there's, gorgeous there's, there's so stuff much to look to see. at isn't there? there's so yeah. much to look at so. I mean, look at my view now that i've got from here there's so much going on gondolas boats pulling up shops restaurants all the buildings with a different architecture it's a bit mental isn't it Mark? I mean, uh, we, we've done loads of research on this place we talked about it sinking and the reckoning in like another 70 odd years time it will be gone it will be by the year 21 is it 2100 20, yeah, or something like that. 2100 I mean, but it, 
you know, I mean, without, I mean, there's so many people here. It must be doing a real good deal with, with tourism and, and people spending money. So. Yeah, but they're blaming the people coming here for it sinking, Mark. Two millimeters every year, it's sinking. So if you want to get here and have a look, I get here quick. <laughs> it's not going to be gone right soon, is it? And there's a better picture for you of the Rialto Bridge. As you can see, it's absolutely heaving with people. Everyone wants to get that shot, don't they? Now look at this and tell me if it doesn't make you think of Italy. These are absolutely stunning. But, £100 for 30 minutes, would you? Just because you're here once? I'm here once and I'm not going to do it. There is people going out in them, but I say, Mark, they're gorgeous, but £100 for 30 minutes. It's like when I was at school and I went in a canoe, you, you, could, you were like out wobbling side to side, you'd be doing that in that, wouldn't you? It's not that, there's a lot of boats on here and all I can see is them, these ones getting barged out they of the way. They get bullied out of the way, the gondolas. This is like your main street in London, well, believe it or not, because of the cars. This is the highway, isn't it? This is a, not the motorway, but the, well it is, isn't it? Look at, look at the ambulance coming, Mark. Yeah, I know. It must know that you're here. <laughs> yeah, it, this is the thing, isn't it? It's, it is the main network of roads and it's all on boats, so we get bullied, don't they? I suppose at night time it quiets down after five o'clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel very romantic at the minute getting in a gondola with all these lot pushing, pushing past you. Yeah, fancy, isn't it? And all the men dress like this. It's true, they do all wear boater hats and strap tops. And anyone else spot what Lisa's on with here, with her sunglasses, look. What? You left a sticker on them, you don't do. You've had them on. That's fine. Right. I know everyone's looking funny at you. Oh, well. At least they know they're new. Is that the brand of them, UV 400s? Yeah, that's, it's a designer UV. We were just saying, weren't we, all the way down here, it's outside this bridge, there's restaurants, pizza's like 13 euros. It's not too bad, is it? Not bad, because I've actually just looked at someone's pizza and it's quite a big pizza. Yeah, so we're not bad. They're not bad, really. You know, I suppose when every shop's doing pizza, you've got to be competitive, haven't you? We're, we're probably well-seasoned because we've been to that Cortina place where stuff are well expensive and... It doesn't seem as bad here, does it? Here, there's a I'm toilet here, look, Lisa. <laughs> oh, someone going past with a toilet. Toilet on the go. I'll just take my designer sticker off so I don't rub it in, every, in everyone's face. So according to tradition, Venice came to existence at the stroke of 12 o'clock in 1421 AD. That's... It, that just blows your mind, doesn't it, that? Yeah. What I want to know is, who can prove that? I don't know, it's history books, isn't it? That's what's written in history. But I'm just looking around because it's not been made up, has it, like? No, like we've been to Germany, a lot of it's been knocked down and rebuilt. This is genuine. We've just walked into a square away from the Grand Canal because it was just getting a bit hustly bustly, and a dog has just actually had gone for Chico. Yeah, so. Mark's just had a, lady, a word with the lady. Well, the cause... thing is, it looks like she works in, it looks like a dog room or something, but it's wandering around, and it, we put him down, it came again. So I just say, we should be on the league, and actually, we should be muzzled in, in public. It is in law Italy. Yeah. So, yeah. But we can't get Chico's. What's Chico going to do? We can't get a small muzzle dogs. Trip. Don't need the muzzles, but, but like a medium a spaniel, and large, they've got to be muzzled and on yeah. leads. And she's just not. She's. I told her I said you should be on lead. Well, anyway, we've just come to this building, this uh, square. Look at this. This is what I mean. You just, you just can't comprehend it, can you? Mm. It is just amazing. And this is no, nothing special here, according to the history, is it? It's just a square. Yeah. And a well in the middle, of where you'd have got your water from. Yeah. There. That'd have probably been that'd have been probably the water for all these houses, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now we're trying to find St Mark's the Square, but it looks like we've got to go back on ourselves. What are you going? To, are, you, are you trying to wake the dead or something, Mark? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's that's probably. where you put your, your pound for water. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> no, you don't. You had buckets dipped in. You see, that's how you got the water years ago. I bet people used to have stomach upsets all the time. That big church, tall building. I know, it's just sat there. It's like... Look at the brickwork are all That's there. called a Zara El, El uh, Dalmazi. Dalmazia. It's massive, isn't it? People just actually still live here. It's crackers, isn't it? They must, all these tourists must do their heads in. Yeah. It's, you, you can't go on the Grand Canal because it's just even. Yeah, well, it's amazing. Oh, oh what's he just dropped? <laughs> He's apologising. Got a little chat, man. Fella Spot stumbling out at church. <laughs> Too many wines. <laughs> so how good am I finding you pea pods? All right, pea pods. I yeah. just went up and said three euros worth. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know what the sign, sign said. Are they any good? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Give over. Come on, then you got three euro though. It's not bad, that is it? Do you want that bit? No, you're all right. You got to find a bin now, aren't you? 
blinking pea pods in Italy. Only him. So not only have we found the local fruit and veg market, we've found the fish market as well. And there's seagulls everywhere, isn't there, Mark? Look at them. Chico wants to go and play. Go on then. Oh. You want to be glad it's not smell vision because whew, it's a bit fishy to say the least, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I think they're all packing right. up now because it's getting. Crack oh, up. yeah. It's getting to uh, like dinner time now, so they're all starting to pack up. You need to get up early in the morning if you want to get your fish in Italy. Squid. I tell you what, it's a proper foodie heaven here, isn't it? Every food. shop is food. Yeah, food there, food there. Food behind us, food in front of us. And it's all really good price as well, isn't it? And it looks mega fresh, mega fresh. Really, really surprised. This place is off the scale, I love it. All these are Kalaliways, look. Everywhere we go, oh Mark. Look at that. Mm. It's a Lindo one as well, Lint. Roll eggs. So this is how they do the sandwiches over in, over, over in Venice. Right, it's chocolate like a, cake things, aren't they? Yeah, it's like the bread's moulded around the filling, isn't it? Mm. It's very strange, but they look really nice. Egg and tuna. Mm. Very different flavours. This place we've got in front of us here, we came down the Venice, um, Rialto steps down. All the souvenirs we're getting four euros, three fifty, three. So the further away you come, yeah, yeah. the cheaper it gets. Step back from the cheese, Mark. Wow. Look at that. Look at that big. That's your slice there, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Big whack of that cheese. Mm. And then you've got your sausage. That's traditional over here, isn't it? Sausage and cheese. Well, it's a ham in it and stuff, so that's what they do. We slice it with. You can buy the machines. We've been in places yeah. in Italy, and we get you get like a, your own slicer. Instead just of buying to, a frying pan, you can buy a slicer for your meat. We well, you eat it like that, don't you? Yeah. Don't, you don't cook it. It's just cured. So. so we were wondering how people got up and down these stairs without suitcases. And Look at this. And like and rubbish trolleys. Carts, aren't they? Because everything's there's no trucks or anything, so everything's by hand. Ingenious that, isn't it? Who'd have thought of that, eh? Well clever. So we've just seen this United Colours of Benetton shop behind us and when in the last town we were in, in the last vlog, Treviso wasn't yeah, it? On sea. We were meant to tell you that Benetton originated from there. Uh, the family Benetton, four brothers came from there, used to sell sweatshirts and it took off so much, mm. went worldwide. It used to be fashionable fortune. back in the UK, didn't it? But I used to have one when I was at school, a green one yeah, with letters on it. Way back in the sixties, was it? No. And they sold it for billions, I think. So, but the headquarters is still at Treviso. Which is just up the road from yeah. it. So, hence why there's still a lot of these shops. We've seen quite a few in Italy, haven't we? Because we think Benetton's quite old fashioned now, don't we? When I mean, you yeah. see them here, that's why. Mark's found the sweeties. What's them? They're like silver bullets, aren't they? Silver bullets? Yeah. Oh, look at size them strawberries, Mark. Oh, it's mm. no fried eggs, like so nearly full size. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see a lot of these in Spain, these shops, don't you? Look at the size of the bananas! Jesus, Jesus thing Christ! thing is, they'll be quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah, if you've got to wear it, wait, I bet that banana's about two euros on its own. It off looks nice, pods. doesn't it? Yeah, I'm better off with my pea pads, aren't I? Did you know, Mark, there's over 400 gondolas in Venice? No, you didn't know that because you told me this morning. <laughs> but they used to be 1,200, so I don't know what's happened there, but they've cut them right well, down. Well, it's more commercialised now, isn't it? There's that many people delivering and stuff like that you know it's just so busy isn't it and to find space where it's safe i suppose it's limited now so that reduced them aren't they yeah but in 2010 that's when the first female gondola started 2010 it's a, man, it's a man's job it's this isn't it no it's not no such thing as a man's job women have been pushing men around for years haven't we so venice has 150 canals that they can use did you know that? Isn't it? Just little roads everywhere, isn't it? That's what you got to think of it. Is it roads, little roads. They? That's what they are, aren't they? Thank God they don't have traffic traffic light systems because it'd become, oh, it'd become a gridlock, wouldn't it, like we, the towns? We've seen a few things, but it's a bit of a free-for-all, isn't it, I think? so. I bet you don't know how Venice is made up. What do you mean made up? Well, it's made up of over 150 tiny islands. Oh, is it? Yeah. And it's, it's something to do with, the, is it tectonic plates? You know about that, don't you? You like mm. things like that. But unfortunately, like we said earlier on, it is sinking. And by the year 
2100 would you yeah, say as we said yeah 2100 it'll, it'll be, be gone well it won't be inhabitable will you it? won't be able to come over to it you'll probably be able to drive around in a boat and have a look at the tops of the buildings i can imagine it a few hundred years ago being connected to the mainland more than just that little strip of road but over time it's just gone year stories back in england mm. like on the east coast like five miles out at sea we used to be little towns and villages and stuff but it's all eroded away well it? didn't so, ireland used to be connected to i don't know maybe uk and Alaman and things like that mm. yeah so if you want to come come and have a look what are you looking for i'm seeing if there's any cornettos in trees or up front oh my goodness my give me cornetto i bet they'll do anymore because people are looking funny at me well, it looks like we've found the gondola car park. <laughs> all, like, squeezed in. I think they've all gone for the dinner, Mark. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, because what time is it? It's like one o'clock, everything shuts up. It's that witching, it? witching few hours, in it, where yeah. they all shut. I'm, yeah. I'd be surprised if all the shops shut here, though, you know. I was saying about, because the cost of it all, and I was saying, don't a lot of these people who paddle them around, but yet don't actually own them. No. They rent them, don't they? And they well, get they're like taxi little. drivers, aren't they? And they get very little. I think it's whoever the company who owns them who gets all the money, I think. Right, so we're on to we're on to finding St Mark's Square because we want to go and look at St Mark's Basilica. So what's this bit what you've been looking for, yeah? This is St Mark's Square and just behind me here is St Mark's Basilica. Absolutely stunning. God, this was worth all the weaving and dotting and messing around in all the clan ways it? to get here, it's weren't bigger, it? Bigger than I thought. I can remember seeing clips of this place when it's all when it's all underwater and they all got like walkways all walking across it's mad isn't it it's not it's like crazy it how it all, but so why does it flood then it's just when water level comes up to high right. just spills over so it is absolutely gorgeous now if you want to eat and drink here be prepared to pay for it 11 euros for a coffee 18 euros for a slice of cake if you want to pay them part prices feel free to sit down and enjoy the sarts how much is chinese then there is no Chinese here. And I've not seen any charity shops either, not one. They're all a bit designer here, aren't they? Yeah. But there's still shops you can shop in. There's still some cheap ones. I've just seen Zara, I've seen H&M. So there is some um, high street shops here as well. But wow, this place, the history. Let's go and look at St. Mark's Basilica a bit closer. Built in the 9th century to house the body of St. Mark, this was the chapel of the Doge's Palace. In effect, the two buildings are the very symbol of Venice and its thousand years of history. Rebuilt in 1063 to 1094 in the Romanesque Byzantine style, the Basilica would over time be richly adorned with mosaics and decorations that bring together the various languages of Byzantine, Gothic and Renaissance art. Since 1807 it has been the Cathedral of Venice and you can actually go into this cathedral for free although they limit the amount of people admitted at one time. It's massive isn't it that? It is absolutely stunning, it's, it isn't actually free to get in, it's three euros for adults and three for children yes. um, so they must have changed it, there, there is a sign of there saying it is free to get in but not anymore. Uh, we couldn't have picked a better day for it, the sun's out it's not too busy. I've seen this square where it's absolutely even. You can't see yeah, the floor. It is busy, isn't it? It's yeah. busy, but you know, it's not it's manageable, isn't it? Yeah. Chico's had enough, hasn't he? So he's gone in his uh, little sack, magic there. Cheeks. <laughs> he was lying down then. Oh, he's tired um, out, isn't he? He's only got little. Well, he's got long but little legs, hasn't he? So now this tower here, apparently you can go up that as well. There is people up there, but I bet that's chargeable as well. That reminds me of Fireman's Tower, what they have at fire stations back in the UK. Um, um, I, I bet the designers, whoever designed that, are glad you've just said that then, aren't they? When I said earlier on in the video in St Mark's Square, when it's full of water, when the, the water rises, they have little platforms everywhere. It's these, and look how high up it is. So it definitely comes out of the water, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I didn't know that. Really I thought I, we we were saying we thought there was some kind of show going on this weekend yeah. or something, but that's probably what they are. We all isn't it? From there, we all, and that's what we use to link them all together. And you have about three or four walkways. Every day is a learning day. It's a bit rough here. Look at these gondolas wobbling here, Lisa. Can you imagine going on that to cross over there? Yeah, it does look a bit choppy, doesn't it? Just a bit. Oh, look at that. It's with all the, because you're on the main river now, aren't you? Yeah, so, it's a bit, isn't it? again, it's like your high street. Yeah. Really busy. Yeah, isn't it nice being next to water? It feels so much better. When we've been in, because we've been in land for quite a while, haven't we? And it's yeah. nice just being next to 
like this, what looks like the sea and stuff. So just behind us, we have a load of gondoliers. Looks like they're having lunch. What do you call a load of gondoliers together, Mark? A gaggle? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> this is like one of the typical little uh, canal ways, isn't it? Yeah. All the gondolas going up and down it. What if you have to pay tolls? <laughs> oh, can you imagine, imagine having to pay toll. all these bridges? I was just saying to Mark, this is one of the bridges here and everyone would be taking pictures and I was wondering why. Well, just across from here is one of the islands that have actually split off on their own. Like yeah. Linked to it and then goes no, this, this is linked. This is still linked to the, the uh, island of Venice, Mark, but yeah. these are the little ones, the individual islands that are on their own. You can actually get water ferries in between all the little islands. Mm. There's lots of different little places. There's one, what, I'm looking on the maps on, on search results, it comes all the way round. The back, like it might be over there, but you can park up on your motor on there, I believe it. Oh, yeah. You, you have to, it's miles round. How it's, much was it though, Mark? Oh, it's dear, isn't it? Yeah. 50 euros a night. Mm. Yeah. Not need to when you can get 10 euros over here, is there? I'm cleaning it. Yeah. Take a lot of pride in the gondolas, don't they? I yeah. suppose if you're going to charge someone £80 for 30 minutes. Well, I was saying some of them are probably very, very old, aren't they, as well? Like being handed down in, in the family tradition, so. Well, I presume some of the houses here as well are like that because you couldn't buy a house here, could you? There's no guarantee how long it's going to last, is there? No. 